live stream. <laughs> I hope you had a great week and you are ready to have an awesome weekend. I hope so. Um, thank you all so much for coming. I love seeing it. there are seven people here and seven thumbs up. That's so nice. Thank you so much for thumbsing up. Thumbsing up? Is that a thing? It is now. <laughs> Thanks for thumbsing up the video. <sighs> I am excited to take a look at all of the incredible polishes I have to share with you today. We're going to be looking at seven polishes that will be available for July's Little Box of Horror Shop. And then we're going to be taking a look at two awesome non-polished items. Well, look who's here. Hey, Jess. <laughs> Glad you made it. Happy Friday. Um, so I believe that the shop is, or if it isn't now, it should soon be up for like wish listing and previewing. So if you haven't checked out the Little Box of Horrors shop site yet, you should go check it out. I linked it down in the description box. There are lots of incredible items all under this month's theme, which is Stranger Things. Yay! Such a fun theme. Um, no spoilers, though, please. <laughs> I have not seen this season. I know. Can you even call yourself a fan? I guess not. <laughs> but it is what it is. <laughs> hey, JPT. Hey, Alicia. Welcome, Audrey. Hey, Grace. Ooh, Michigan. Are any of you at the expo or going to the expo? I am not, clearly. But. If you are, safe travels to you, and I hope you have a great time. Um, so if you haven't shopped Little Box of Horrors before, it is a bi-monthly collaboration between a lot of indie makers. So it doesn't happen every month. It happens every other month. Um, and they create limited edition items under a common theme. So it's kind of similar to other boxes that maybe you shop indie boxes that you shop other uh, times of the month but most of the themes are something kind of horror related sci-fi spooky kind of thing um so this month it is stranger things which again such a fun theme and great timing as well um same jess i'm living vicariously i hope you have a great time jackie i saw you live on on um instagram i'm glad you made it your hotel looks very nice <laughs> Oh, have fun, Grace. I hope so too, Audrey. Oh, you're still at work. I hope you get off soon. Um, so we are going to take a look at seven pretty polishes today. I'm going to swatch them for you on a swatch wheel so we can see how they apply. And then we're also going to take a look at them uh, mattified and some over black too. Um, and then we have some non-polished items to check out. And what I have on my nails today is a polish from Night Owl Lacquer. It's called the Polished Mage. And I think this was a custom that the Polished Mage uh, came out with with Lindsay last year. Um, and I saw it and fell in love with it. And it's still available on their site. So I linked it down in the description box in case you like it. I love it. This color is like, it's doing it for me. So fun in summary. <laughs> I'm glad you're here, Shannon. <laughs> I purchased from HHT too, so I feel that. I feel the pain. All right, so we're going to kind of look at this month's offerings in rainbow order. We'll look at the polishes first, um, but it's kind of an interesting group of colors, so it's kind of in rainbow order, but kind of not. Um, this is the reddest shade we have. It's kind of a, a neon reddy orange. This first one comes from Paradox Polish, and it's called Mouth Breather, and it's a neon orange red. Wow, great. <laughs> Good description. With neon blue glitters, purple flakes, and scattered holographic. This is going to retail for $13. And I'm already loving the contrast between the blue glitters, the neon base, and then I love the addition of the purple flakes and the hollow. So pretty. Hey, AQ. Happy Friday. Oh, you just bought it, Jackie? You're going to love it. I've had it for, if you're talking about the Night Owl, I've had it for almost a year. Whenever it came out is when I bought it. And I can't believe it took me so long to wear it. So this one has a gorgeous jelly base. 
Lots of those purple flakes come out and a good amount of glitters too. Really fun color and super smooth, even application. This one's going to build up to full opacity for most people in three coats because it has that fun, squishy jelly base. Mouth breather. <laughs> Is that one named after you, Jess? I love it. I love that, Ashley. Those are my plans for this week. I need to watch the new season. So this is one coat of Paradox Polish Mouth Breather. This is going to be $13, and I do not think it has a cap. Such a fun color. So I'll come back around to it in a little bit and add second coats. Our next one comes from Potion Polish, and it's called Susie, Do You Copy? And I'm, like, trying to resist going, Susie, do you copy? <laughs> I'm a mess. This one's described as being a rich hunter green with orange to gold to green shifting shimmer with a sprinkle of gold hollow micro glitter. This one is very pigmented, so make sure you use base coat if you want to avoid staining. This one's going to be $12.50, and it will be capped at 100 bottles. Mm, look at that shimmer with the hollow. If you all haven't tried this brand before, um, they did change their logo, Jess. I was surprised too. Um, if you haven't tried this brand before, I really recommend it. I think I've only swatched a few polishes from them um, for Little Box of Fours, but I've purchased polishes from the brand before, and I have been, not kidding, blown away by everything I've tried. The formula is so beautiful. So let's go on with our first coat of Potion Polish. Susie, do you copy? This one has a jelly leaning base as well. Depending on your nail length and application, it'll be between two and three coats. And it really deepens up nicely on the second coat there. Look how pretty that shimmer is. This one's giving me fall vibes. I'm here for it. Hey, Flatline. So pretty. <laughs> I like your hashtag, Jess. <laughs> I'm in that boat too. Team sinuses. <laughs> Our next one, I love. I agree, Ashley. Such a pretty shimmer. Our next one, I love, love what Sassy Sauce did with the label here. It's called Upside Down. And at first it came in before I knew the theme was Stranger Things. And I was like, Oh, no, I've got to tell Carrie <laughs> something's wrong with my bottle. But look what she did. I love it. She made the label upside down. I just think that's too clever. Um, so this one's described as being an aquatic teal base with a strong blurple shimmer, micro glitter, and aquatic shifting ghost flakes. Ooh. This one's going to retail for $12.50, and it will be capped at 300 bottles. I know. As if the color wasn't pretty enough, like I would want it just because it's so clever to have an upside down label. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll say on camera, it's coming off more, um, more muted than it is in person. In person, it is much brighter. These colors are always so tricky on camera, but in person, it is a bright, bold, bold, bold teal, like very summery. Definitely check out swatch photos for this one. <laughs> I know. Isn't the label hilarious? I was like, oh, no. And then I was like, oh, I like it. <laughs> this one also has a gorgeous squishy jelly base. Lots of those flakies come out in lots of different sizes. You can see that big one towards the top. Love that. And you get all of those gorgeous, like, purpley blue micro glitters. Yeah, this one's very unique to my collection. You're loving them too, Jen Jen? <laughs> I think they're so pretty. So that's one coat of Sassy Sauce upside down. It's going to be $12.50 and then capped at 300 bottles. And then we'll look at one more and go back for second coats and check out what it looks like mattified and over black. I agree. I think they're super cute together. <laughs> Then our next one comes from Virgo Moon. It's called Bob Newbie Super, 
superhero. <laughs> it's described as being a powdery blue base loaded with pink and blue pearl micro flakies and a gorgeous gold to green to indigo shimmer. It's going to retail for $12 and it is going to have a super low cap of 35 bottles. So this one is just really sparkly. These kind of blue shades with shimmer like that always remind me of being near water like a lake or ocean and the sun is setting and reflecting against the water. Really nice, I think, for warmer months especially. Look at that. This one's a little sheer on that first coat. I would recommend building it up to three. It does build up pretty quickly, so I don't think anyone will have to worry about full opacity in three coats. So that is one coat of Virgo Moon, Bob Newby, Superhero, $12 and capped at 35 bottles. Such a fun shimmer shade. I'm loving these bright colors. And we're going to go back and add second coats. First, a Paradox Polish Mouth Breather. See if I can get more of those blue glitters. They kind of sunk to the bottom just a little bit, but I know with a good shake or leaving them upside down, they'd come out no problem. I love Paradox's Crellies. All right, so second coat of Paradox Polish Mouth Breather. Ah, <laughs> there's more of those glitters. Whew, this one is fiery, y'all. Man, it's making me want to put on a neon orangey red. That is beautiful. This one will be between two and three coats for full opacity, depending on your nail length. So that's two coats of Mouth Breather from Paradox Polish. It's going to be $13, no cap. Hey, Natalie, happy Friday. <laughs> so pretty. I agree, Jackie. You took the words out of my mouth. <laughs> hey, Mary, glad you made it. We got two Natalies. <laughs> I like it. Going back to Potion Polish, Susie, do you copy? Gorgeous green with orange, copper, green shimmer, and then some hollow. And this one deepens up significantly on the second coat. I think if you have my nail length, you'll be good in two coats, but if you've got longer nails, you might want to go in for a third but how pretty. Oh my gosh. It just makes me want some fall weather. I do too, Jackie. I love everything they come out with. It's always beautiful. So gorgeous. Oh, did it go live an hour ago, Jess? See, that was on my to-do list right after, <laughs> right after this live. I already have the tab pulled up. <laughs> I'm going shopping and I'm so glad you got mom jeans. That's one of my favorites. We're going back to Sassy Sauce Polish, upside down. Those gorgeous ghost flakes. Look at them. Just glowing in there. I love ghost flakes. They're so interesting. This one, I think most people will want three coats for. But if you've got shorter nails and you do go in for thicker coats, you might be able to get away with two. If you don't have a super visible nail line. Look at that. So fun. Super glowy. So that is Sassy Sauce Polish upside down, $12.50 and capped at 300 bottles. And then last one before we check them out, Mattified. This is Virgo Moon Bob Newby Superhero. <laughs> this one is going to be $12 and capped at 35 bottles. This one surprised me with how quickly it built up to opacity. I really was expecting based on that first coat that it wouldn't build up to be fully opaque, but at my nail length, it will in three coats. Isn't it a gorgeous shade, Jackie? So soft and shimmery. I agree, Jen Jen. So beautiful. Y'all have to check out the cuticula site too. 
So that one is Virgo Moon, Bob Newby, Superhero, $12, and capped at 35 bottles. So I did something a little bit different with my swatches this time, um, just to see how y'all felt. So here's the ones we just looked at, these right here. Um, this is what they look like mattified, the Paradox Polish, the Potion Polish, the Sassy Sauce, and the Virgo Moon all in three coats with a matte top coat. And then I went ahead and tested what looked good over black. Not all of them did. So the ones that did look good over black, I went ahead and swatched them over black side by side. So this is the Potion Polish um, on its own and then over black. So you can see all those. So which of those is catching your eye? Let me know. I agree, Ashley. Especially mattified, those ghost flakies look unreal. <laughs> so pretty. Mm, I'm having a hard time. Ooh, I haven't even thought about what my top picks are. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> you do spy a pink, Jess. <laughs> the potion for sure. I feel that, Mary. The Virgo Moon, I agree, JPT. The shimmer is so beautiful. It looks really satiny matte. You like it, Shannon? Yeah, I thought it'd be cool to kind of see them side by side so we could see how different different they are. Yeah, the, the sassy sauce is beautiful. Agreed. Those flakes are really special. You like them too, Flatline? Gotta agree. And thankfully, that one has a pretty big cap. It's got a 300 bottle cap. And I think I have the dates for the shop in the description box. So you can mark your calendar so you don't miss out on those pre-orders. The Paradox and Sassy Sauce. Good choices, Ashley. Yeah, those are beautiful. So perfect for this time of year, too. All right. And then we have four more, three more shades to look at. The first of which Jess already realized is a beautiful pink. <laughs> This one's coming from Sassy Pants Polish, and I've become a big fan um, of theirs lately. I just feel like their polishes are so special. This one's called Try Everything. It is described as being a hot pink holographic base with assorted black, white, turquoise, red, and yellow glitters. This one's going to retail for $13, and it'll be capped at 100 bottles. Yeah, this one's so interesting. Like with all of those. First of all, with that beautiful pink base, but then all of the glitters, to me, it's just really like unexpected of a combo. <laughs> I'm loving greens too, no one, especially those dark greens. I've been craving olive nail polish for some reason. This one has a gorgeous jelly formula, super, super sparkly, like already on that first coat. I feel like it's even more sparkly in person than it is uh, coming off on camera, but it is so pretty. Smooth jelly formula, which means it's going to be great for layering, which means we're going to take a look at it over black. <laughs> but anyway, that is Sassy Pants. Try everything. $13 and capped at 100 bottles. Ooh, I didn't see that on there, Jess. I would like to try it out. If you've tried out that bar magnet, let us know. I'm curious. And then the next one we're going to check out comes from Night Owl Lacquer. Ooh, look at that. This one is called Friends Don't Lie. I love that line. Um, and this is described as being a blackened violet with burgundy to bronze to copper to gold multi-chrome shimmer and bronze reflective glitter. It's going to be $12.40 and there will not be a cap. This one is just a lot of these colors this month are giving me either very strong summer vibes or autumnal vibes. And this one's giving me autumn vibes for sure. <sighs> I've been really into autumn, autumn colors lately. Not that you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so first coat of Friends Don't Lie. Friends Don't Lie. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. This one also has a gorgeous jelly base. Lots of that multi-chrome shimmer in there. You can see it shifting already on the first coat. 
And then it's got a good amount of reflective glitter as well. So that's Night Owl Lacquer, Friends Don't Lie, $12.40 with no cap. So pretty. I know, y'all. I'm like so in the mood, so in the mood for autumn colors already. I'm really, really trying not to pull my autumn rack. <laughs> it's too early, but that's all I want to wear. I might just have to wear an olivey green just to get myself out of it because I can't resist. <laughs> and then the last polish we have to look at today before we go back to look at second coats and the non-polish items comes from Paradox Polish. It's their second offering. This one's called Hellfire Club. It's a topper, really interesting topper. And it's packed with neon glitters and rebellious black bar glitters as well as scattered hollow. It's going to be $13. Beautiful. I know, Jackie. I always want, I'm always way too early. I started planning for summer in probably like March. <laughs> and now here we are in summer and I'm ready for the next thing. That's why I'm trying to slow down with the fall so that I don't, I don't get burnt out on fall too quickly and want to go right into holiday polish. <laughs> So this one is a really fun mix. I am not the biggest fan of bar glitter, so I was like, eh, I don't know. <laughs> but once I put it on the nail, I was like, okay, yeah, this is really fun. <laughs> it's got every color of the rainbow neon except for orange. It's got red, yellow, green, blue, purple, and pink neon hex glitters. Some squares in there, some micro. It's got black squares, black bar glitters, and then some holographic sparkles too. Yes, that's what uh, she said, Shannon. The maker said she was totally going for 80s, um, and I think she nailed it. So, so fun. I need to get in that mindset, Natalie. I have a lot of summer polishes I want to wear. Aw, Jess, womp womp. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I agree. I'm not the biggest bar glitter fan, but that one is really fun. So that's one coat of Paradox Polish Hellfire Club. It's going to be $13 and no cap, I don't think. All right, so let's go back for second coats of those, and then we'll take a look at them mattified. Some of them over, actually all of them over a different color. They all layer very well. So first we're going back to Sassy, Sassy Pants Polish. Try everything. Such a sparkly, sparkly polish. This one's going to be $13 and capped at 100 bottles. This one will be between two and three coats, depending on your nail length and application. I think pretty much everyone will be good in two coats, but if you've got super long nails, maybe three, maybe. So fun and sparkly. And you can really see as you start to build it up, like a little flash in there, a bright pink flash. So pretty. So that's two coats. Sassy Pants Polish, Try Everything, $13 and a 100 bottle cap. That's another one with all of those glitters. They do tend to sink to the bottom, so you might just want to give it a good shake or leave it upside down before application. And then we're coming back to Night Owl Lacquer, Friends Don't Lie. Oh, that flash is so pretty. <laughs> Flatline, you've got amazing, amazing taste. That was one of my favorite polishes from last year. And I like checked on the HHC site and saw it was coming back and considered getting a backup bottle because I was very surprised it hadn't sold out. If you haven't purchased from HHC yet, that garden path, it is beautiful. <laughs> So this one, I think, is going to be a solid two-coater for everyone. <sighs> that is so beautiful. Another one that just screams, screams fall to me. So that's Night Owl Lacquer, Friends Don't Lie, $12.40 and no cap. And the reflective glitter in there, it's really sparkling here. But under flashlight, you'll see it show more of a bronze color. So beautiful. Yay! I'm so glad you grabbed it, Flatline. Seriously, Garden Path is another brand that I just love. I love so much of what they create. Um, but that polish, 
Whew. They nailed it with that one. That was one of my favorites. Um, and then the last one is Paradox Polish Hellfire Club. This one will not have a cap, and it's going to retail for $13. Yay, Jackie! That one is stunning. <laughs> you are going to love it. The formula cannot be beat. And if you guys want to check out some of these polishes they're talking about, they're available now on HHC. I did swatch them in last week's live stream, I think it was, which is on my channel in case you want to go check it out, see what they they look like on. There were a lot of beautiful polishes, a lot of pretty things available for HHC this month. So this one builds up really well on its own. It's not going to be full opacity, but you'll see what it looks like in three coats here in a second. It is nearly fully opaque in three coats. So fun. I don't think I did, Natalie, because I was confused why as well. <laughs> I was like, wait, I feel like I'm missing something. Yeah, I don't think I had that this month. Sorry about that. So that's two coats of Paradox Polish Hellfire Club. $13 and no cap. And now let's take a look at the mattified and over black. There we go. So there is the Sassy Pants Polish, mattified, and then over black. Look at that. That's fun. And then Night Owl Lacquer Mattified and one coat over black. And the Paradox Polish built up in three coats, mattified, and one coat over in orange because I knew if I did a black for that one, it would kind of, um, you'd lose the cool effect of those bar glitters. And all of the colors of the rainbow are represented in the other glitters except for orange. So I was like, it has to go over orange. <laughs> Super pretty. I'm especially intrigued at how different they look over black and on their own. That one really brings out the hollow. That one really brings out the shift. And this looks so like chocolatey and satiny. <laughs> and then this one, wow, I was so impressed with how it built up. And it looks super cool matte. And then over orange as well. Doesn't it, Jess? I agree. Oh, I totally feel that, Felicia. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, so I want to do a recap and then we'll look at the new shades or new shades. We'll look at the non-polished items. My brain, my brain. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, Natalie. It kind of looks uh, Halloween-y. All right. So first we've got the Paradox Polish Mouth Breather. We have Potion Polish. Oh, that shade of green is everything. Then the Potion Polish in one coat over black. Then the Sassy Sauce Polish. I got a little pink on the Virgo Moon. There's the Virgo Moon, a stunning shade of blue. So soft. Nick's here. Hey, Nick. <laughs> then Sassy Pants Polish. Then Sassy Pants Polish over black. Then Night Owl Lacquer. And Night Owl Lacquer in one coat over black. And then three coats of the Paradox Polish. Nick, I know you love toppers. This is a, a really cool topper. <laughs> and then the Paradox over black. Or over black, over orange. That's orange, that's not black. Yes, and it does look like Halloween candy. <laughs> Natalie, I totally see it. So what are y'all thinking of grabbing out of those shades? Let me know. I am so curious. So curious. And then I have two non-polish items to share with you. Um, I know a lot of people really love shopping um, Little Box of Horrors because they do have a really great selection of non-polish items. If that's something you're into, jewelry, wax, cuticle oil, things like that, they have a lot of super unique items. Yeah. I love it too, Nick. Such a fun theme. Um, I have it in the description box. Let me see if I can open up my screen and check because <laughs> I forget the dates. So it starts on July 23rd. So we've got a little bit. And it starts at uh, noon 
Pacific time, and it's open through July 30th. So a little under a week to shop. Uh -oh. We want full screen. <laughs> All right. So let's take a look at the non polish items. The first one comes from Just Ducky Designs, which always has some fun jewelry to offer. This one is for those of you who have your ears pierced. <laughs> it is an ear cuff, which is really cool. I have my ears pierced, but I have not worn earrings in a very long time, so I don't know that they're actually pierced anymore. But this one is called Follow the Lights, and I know it's inspired by um, the lights, the Christmas lights that were blinking. So this one is featuring silver-plated findings with glass light beads. The chain all together is three inches long. Here's a bottle of polish for reference. <laughs> and uh, the charm is made with resin. So this cuff is going to be $20 and capped at 20. So there will be 20 of these available. So like this end goes near your earlobe with the run sign, which also has the Christmas lights. Isn't that pretty? And then this part goes near, oh gosh, see, I am not super knowledgeable about piercings, but like near the top of your ear, you know, so that it hangs. It's really cute. Uh, if you click on the um, link I have in my description box, you can see models actually showing what it looks like on the ear. And I thought it looked really, really nice. Yeah, super, super cute. So that is the Just Ducky Designs Follow the Lights Ear Cuff. It's going to be $20 and capped at 20 20 earrings available, 20 cuffs available. And it came with all of this cute little stuff. I love it. It even came with a little ah, rainbow bow. How precious. I love it. <laughs> and then the second non-polished item I have for you is my first time sharing this maker. It is called KTK8 Oils. And the scent of the oil is USS Butterscotch. There's a secret note, hold on. <laughs> okay, there we go. So it even says on their little box of horrors and the date, and then it comes from Wisconsin. So it's a cuticle oil. The fragrance is supposed to capture the goodness of sweet, creamy, delicious butterscotch ice cream. <laughs> It's got jojoba oil, my favorite nail oil, apricot kernel oil, avocado oil, argan oil, baobab, baobab, baobab. I've never tried to say that out loud. <laughs> oil and vitamin E. Um, it's going to be $6 and capped at 85 pence. Smelling the scent for the first time. Twist, 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 twist. Okay, yep. That's butterscotch. <laughs> she wasn't lying. If you love butterscotch, I guarantee you will love the scent. It smells exactly like butterscotch. I could have not read the label and just smelled it, and I would have known it's butterscotch. Very sweet, but not headache-inducing, because sometimes I get a headache with sweet scents. This one is not headachey. It is sweet, though. So that is the KTK8 oil and the scent USS Butterscotch. It's going to be $6 and capped at 85 And I love these pens for um, in my purse and on the go. Travel bags, purses, and my work bag, um, keeping in my desk. I love these for that because they're just so quick to apply without making a big old mess. Love it. And it comes with some little, little nice stuff too. <laughs> Their card. And a cute sticker. <laughs> On my nails is Night Owl Lacquer Polished Mage. Isn't it pretty? I love it. I put it on right before this and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm leaving it on all weekend. Partially because it's glitter and I don't have the patience to take it off. <laughs> so it's staying for a while. I'm ready to commit though. It's a pretty color. 
love it. I linked it in the description box if there are any bottles available because when I went on the site right before the stream, it said there were only two bottles available. <sighs> I don't like, I like that they do that, but it also makes me want to buy everything. <laughs> when the Night Owl Lacquer Polishes say they have limited stock on certain things. Okay, let me see if I can find a jelly. I forget who requested to see the Paradox sandwich between a jelly. I shall have to see if I can find one. Oop. Well, this is a shimmery jelly. I don't have too many jelly polishes, but surely I have something. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, <laughs> Y'all, my, my jelly uh, collection is lacking. I don't know if this will satisfy what you're asking for, but I will sure try. It's totally making me realize I need more jellies. Just plain jellies. Because I do have some jellies, but they all have something extra in them. I don't have any plain jellies that would... I feel like display how pretty this is. We shall try though. All right, you guys can. <laughs> Gosh, what a pathetic little, uh... here we go. What is these? What do you think I should jelly sandwich the paradox with? Actually, I'll do all of them. <laughs> I'll just do all of them. Just to see, because who knows? So I'm sure everybody here knows what a jelly sandwich is. But a jelly is a polish that's like intentionally sheer. And usually when you build it up in three coats, you can still see quite a bit of visible nail line. But that is kind of the point. And so a lot of people like layering the jelly polishes with fun glitters and toppers and it creates a cool effect so that you can still see the top the pigments and elements in the topper but it's like behind a screen of beautiful jelly goodness <laughs> my descriptions okay so we're gonna try all of them <laughs> i'm glad you all agree <laughs> Um, so the garden path that I was talking about is in the overstock section of the HHC site. It's called Feed Your Head. It's the one Flatline said she had on. I actually have that one right here. Wait, nope. Right here. Yep. <laughs> it's this one. It was one of my favorites from last year. And I was so excited to see it on the overstock section. If it's not sold out, it wasn't this morning. Um, but highly recommend you grab it. Whew. I love it. So, so much shifting. So much shifting. You're so welcome. Although the pink did look gorgeous. I didn't swatch that one this month, but I almost grabbed it because it looks so, so beautiful. <laughs> hey, Sarah. Glad you made it. Are you at work? Yep. I figured you were at work. Hope you get off soon. Thank you for the recommendation, Alicia. I need to stock up because I love jelly sandwiches, but I guess I'm realizing I don't do them very often because I don't have any of them. <laughs> How to change that. All right, so let's go ahead and try layering the Paradox over Hellfire. The Paradox Hellfire Club, y'all. <sighs> I either need to start drinking coffee in the evening or... I need to start doing my live streams in the morning. That might be catastrophic. <laughs> All right, we're layering Hellfire Club from Paradox Polish over these different shades. This one's from Fan Chromatic Nails. And so then the sandwich component is that you go back over this as a topper with that jelly polish that you used originally as the base. This is over Zoya Bella, Bella, and this is over OPI Funny Bunny, which is a white. 
and Bela, you can't really tell, but it is a very light pink. And the fan chromatic is a blue with a little bit of shimmer, but all three fun jellies. Evening coffee is where it's at. Um, if I had to work this late, Sarah, I would have to have. <laughs> I would have to have some coffee in the evening. I would totally have to have some creative fantasy. Ooh, I don't have that one, Jess. Foxy horse. I feel that. Jess keeps swimming. I didn't grab that one. And I don't know if I grabbed horsey. I think I meant to check that to see it, make sure I didn't have it, and I keep forgetting about it. So I need to go back and double check that I don't have it. And then if I don't have it, I need to buy it. <laughs> These chats are so fun, but they also remind me to purchase everything. <laughs> so I'm going back over the fan chromatic nails called No Peopling Allowed. This was available in a past little box of horrors. Ooh, that is fun. I like. Then we're going to go back over with Zoya Bela. I know, Natalie, the swatches of it looked amazing. Hmm. I don't know about that one. I like the blue better. It's not bad. It's interesting. I think I'd like that one if I continued the layering process. If I added another coat of the Paradox and then another coat of Zoya Bela. And then let's go over with Funny Bunny. That one's kind of fun. I'm kind of vibing more with that one than I am the... Yeah, I like that. I think these two are my favorites. What do y'all think? It's so much prettier in real life. You like the blue, Natalie? Yeah, so, so fun. Yay. The last one is perfect. I agree, Jess. I'm going to have to layer with funny money more. Yeah, it makes it like a pastel, like for spring. Oh, my gosh, like Easter. <laughs> Now I want to, um, now I want to do all the jelly sandwiches with Bunny Bunny. It actually looks really good, like super smooth and even. I'm shocked. I love it. Let me see if I have this horsey. If I do, I can show y'all real quick. I do. <laughs> I thought I swatched that one, but I think it threw me when I heard people call it seahorse. I don't know. Here's the horsey if y'all are curious. Check that out. So pretty. So pretty. And then what was the other one you requested? Just keep swimming. I do not have that one because I was contemplating buying it. But there is Garden Path Feed Your Head and Rogue Lacquer Horsey together. Oh, it is gorgeous. I agree, Nick. <laughs> like those flakes? Are you kidding me? I remember. I think this was one of my top picks when it came out in PPU. It was October last year. Yeah. It was one of my favorites because <sighs> the color. And I think it would have been like, I was like really rooting for it, but it came out near Halloween. So it was like not super seasonal, but like if it released right now, it'd be like, I think it'd be, everybody would be freaking out, but everyone must have loved it because it came back for a rewind. So that's exciting. But yes, you're so welcome, Natalie. This one, so you know, is more of a teal. Um, and this one's a bright cobalt. This one has the shimmer and the flakes, and this one just has the flakes. Both have hollow and different shifts. Yeah. You're so welcome. I agree, Jess. It glows so much. So beautiful. So I hope you all enjoyed the live stream and you had fun. I know I did. <laughs> um, just a reminder that the shop is going to open on the 23rd at 12 p.m. Pacific time. And it's going to be open through July 30th. There's a bunch of other items available this month as well, all under that 
Stranger Things theme. And the site is currently open for wishlisting. So I have a link down in the description box if you want to check out other items that will be available. Um, lots of polishes, lots of non-polishes. <laughs> I'm a mess. And if you're not already subscribed, you should. Please, come on, subscribe. <laughs> um, I am posting a lot of exciting videos here soon. Next week, I'm going to post a Bee's Knees Lacquer video. And spoiler, it's my favorite collection from Bee's Knees this year. <laughs> I whispered that to be funny, but I don't know that you could actually hear me. So I'll just say it again. It's my favorite collection from Bee's Knees this year. Like, in a while, actually. They're beautiful. So I'm including some comparisons in that review. Plus coming up soon is polish pickup video. I have a coming upcoming collection from, I don't know if I can share the other ones yet. Ooh. But some exciting stuff, some exciting, surprising stuff. I hope you had fun. I did. And I hope you have a great weekend. Thank you all for coming. Bye.